Hey guys, today is a really special video. I'm actually coaching a challenger player playing against challenger players in super, super high low tournaments. So this is actually a tournament. Uh, Spooky is a 1k LP challenger. The enemy mid laner is 1k LP challenger. So this is ultra high elo. This kind of what review is a little bit more complex. Obviously, I'm really, really sorry. And I really want to apologize for the sound uh, inside of the game because the, the echo of his voice is going to be there throughout the session, but definitely this VOD review can help you a lot to, to see how complex the game is in Challenger, and you're going to learn how a Challenger player plays bot lane in the AD carry role, and not only, so you can learn a lot of uh, a lot of little things, subtle things that makes Challenger players a little bit better than uh, the other ELO. So enjoy, and I really think that this video is going to help you out. So if you want to watch it again, you can watch it again. Thank you. Um... This is the Azrael's team. The jungler is playing from a Smurf account. He's 1k OP on Ioni. Okay. Uh, and the enemy team is... The enemy team is... Okay, okay. And this is you, right? Sorry? Uh, is this you, like, have an import? Yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. So you don't really have too much experience on Ezreal, right? Or at least on this account. No, no, but uh, I, I mean, I mean don't, don't get biased. biased. Uh, it's just, it's just um, um, like, like I, was I was playing Duo playing with Kog'Maw Lulu, Lulu, that's why the Kog'Maw is most played. Okay, but okay, But I okay, okay, play okay. like every AD carry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Just <laughs> let me get the enemy. Do you, do you want to see the enemy team? No, 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 not necessary, not necessary. Oh. Only if you want to, but it's not necessary. Okay, perfect. So, good. Is the, you said it's a best of one, right? Okay, so obviously in a best of one, you need to pick a gem that you're really, really comfortable on because if you lose this one, it's basically GG. We're not going to really talk about the draft too much, like what was wrong and what was not wrong, but I want to hear your thought process. Like, what does Ezreal needs to do in this team to actually win the game against the enemy team composition? Uh, sorry, I see your screen again. Okay, I do. Um... Well, basically, about our draft, we played like full weak side top lane and we played uh, uh, weak side outscaling bot because they're like, uh, we know how they play. They usually are like uh, picking for early game, aggressive early game champions. They want to get heralds as soon as possible and snowball the games as much as possible. So our game plan was like, just don't, just try to minimize the, the kills and the mistakes until like 20 minutes as much as possible. And then we... Then we should just basically win because of the better champions and the fact that we all outscale, besides maybe the Orianna only. So the Ezreal in this lane was picked basically to survive from like example of uh, safe AD carry. Even though Ezreal is really not so good into such a Q pressure lane, like True. Ocean. True. But like it would be safer. Our My other AD carry pick was Zaya. But they felt like with Ezreal, I will do better. Okay, 100%. So Ezreal is a little bit better against Lucian, just because you can actually avoid him. And you have your E. Zaya, if you get hooked, it's kind of GG. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Zyrakan is a good synergy, but what, for what you have to do, you have two options. It's either you fight fire with fire, like, hey guys, those guys are playing early game, we play early game and we beat them. The disadvantage of that is that if your team is worse mechanically, you're going to hard lose. Or you just do the thing that you did. Hey guys, let's outscale. We know how they want to play. They want to play for early game. We play Ezreal, we play Syndra, we play Scaling, which is a better option, of course. Because even if you guys, let's say, are a little bit worse players, mechanically, I don't know if you are, but if you are worse players than them, then you can still win. So fighting fire with fire here and picking early game is bad. I didn't like what you did here overall with the draft. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Lucian, Lucian Pike, they really need to win the lane phase. The beauty of this Ezreal pick is that if the Rakan wants to roam, he can definitely roam around Syndra. Oriana has no escape. So three versus three on mid lane is pretty doable. Uh, Pike, Oriana, Lee Sin against Kha'Zix, uh, Rakan, and Syndra. I don't like that she went for for TP, she should, in my opinion, just go for Ignite just because of the Rakan pick. You can actually just roam over and over again. You can stay 1v2, you can get experience, you can do whatever you want. So yes, you want to scale and you want to just play the game slow. Let's see if you actually did that. I want to see your runes first. Okay, so you go for Kong. Okay, this is super, super good. Do you go for Cutdown in this case? <clears throat> yeah, because I will start long fort and three potions for more sustain and to proc Cutdown because Lucian, I assume that he will start Doran 
played, so we have extra yes. HP, but I think he will start long sword as well, which is smart from him because I cannot get him out of lane that easy with hitting Qs. By the way, I sent you the OPGs of the enemy team in case you want to look. Okay, 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 okay. True, true. So I do agree with this thingy, especially because you're going to be hitting Set, and Set is the only front line in the enemy team, and that means Please he's going to go. Kind of HP, oh, right? yeah, yeah, he also builds HP. This guy is going to go Starax, most likely second. So it's really good to get this, especially because it's not like you can get through him with the Ezreal. So this is super good. Let's see if we go for standard cover right here. No, okay. I'm kind of afraid. Yes, <laughs> so it's better It's better to cover the other way around. So this is theoretically fine, but in this case, you need to play safe early game. So you want to question yourself, is it more likely for them to go for the normal invade? No, or is it more likely no, no. to go... Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they will go for weird invades, right? So Rakan should stay here because she can start double. Or he can start double. And you should stay here because on this angle you have a lot of space. Like if you stay here and they come, you can just back off and you're chilling. Mm -hmm. So staying mid lane is a little bit better because if Rakan stays here, he can start W. He's going to W, he's fine. But if you stay here and... I mean, you need to flash. Or unless you can get E. Right here, I also don't like that you level up Q because if they are crazy players and they go like this, you need to flash the hook. So then yeah. if you go for the E, it's at least better. And if you flash right here, yeah. remember Lee Sin is going to prank you. Like he's going to over and over go for you, especially because they can even set up dives on bot lane. I really like the exhaust pick right here. It's really, really yeah, smart. Yeah, we just went like full survive. And yes. also one question I had uh, about my secondary runes. I heard that uh, Inspiration is overall better for laning phase and uh, Sorcery for mid to late game. Since we are scaling, we will probably have to go like Mana Flow and Transcendence, but I think that uh, having 300 gold extra that you can get your Divine Cinder faster and you have some extra sustain and mana from the Biscuits can make your lane kind of easier because this lane is painful, kind of. Yes, 100%, especially because they need to only, only play bot lane. They will get prior top lane. They will probably just win uh, mid lane prior as well because of the listing pressure. So they will dive you bot lane. A lot. Level 3, level 4, level 5. You need to be as healthy as possible. I love the biscuits right here. And it's not like a huge reward. Okay, you can get Transcendence with Sorcery. Okay, you can get Mana Full Band. But it's not like huge. It's sh it will never make the difference. But the 300 gold that you're, you're basically getting here, it's so good. So I really love the biscuits right here. You're not going to get Dove. And you're going to be able to farm more with your Qs because of the mana advantage. So this is super good. This is super good. Uh, oh. well, like, one dumb question is like, I'm never supposed to win this lane, right? Yeah, Starling yes. Yeah. Yeah, there is no way. There is no way. There is no way. If they dive you 2v2, maybe, but it's like very, very one sided for it. It's like 80 20, the lane phase, especially because yeah. you also committed to this play style of safeness. Maybe if Rakan goes Ignite, it's 75 25. You have a little chance, but right now it's just 80 20. Like it's not, it's not realistic to think that you can win the lane. So definitely right here with this cover, they got this word. It's not a huge information, but we could have done it a lot better when it comes to the cover. Okay, so does this guy oh, goes for normal? It's, it's a mistake to stay where I stayed at uh, the start of the game, because I did not see if they are going for deep vision and stuff, but I was I was afraid to go there, and I also did not want to waste my ward early, that early for vision. True, so that's good. Go mid. Yeah, so because you had to go mid, and then yeah. Arakan had to stay here. Because if he does that, then there is no problem. You don't yeah, need to ward him. You don't know if they warded the Exactly. Red exactly. You know, don't know what they did. Because maybe they warded here and it's too much information already. Or it's too much non-information because you don't have a, a, a realistic information. So right now you can't know, like, where are they? What did they want to do? Because this play is going to tell you, hey, they know how to play the game. They will play bot lane. Careful. But right now you don't know anything. Did they ward? Did they pressure? Did they try to, to invade? We don't have information. Okay. So let's see. Do you go for fake leash or do you just go normally? Okay, that's fine. Did that queue, did you want to just check the brush or... Okay, one sec. Or did it just miss Yeah, I think it was misclick. Okay, because theoretically they can stay here and they can hook you over the wall. Very unlikely, uh, but... I think that was it. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, good. Because good. I know that type of like... You know, they, they play pike motion. They want to cheese, they want to, you know... Yes, here, yes, yes. yes. Uh, we wanted to contest level 2. Not True. to fight, but in order to not yes, like, yes. get pushed on the tower so hard, you know? Yes, 100%. Yeah, this is correct. The thing that I don't like, this, the thing that I don't like is this queue. One second, one second, this one. Like, because... I'm, I'm yes. like maybe aim for the minion, but he moved, you know? Yes, 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 yes. So definitely, uh, I think you aim for the minion, for sure. Let's see, you're going to 100% lose prior, but it's good that you're actually contesting it. Okay... Hmm, let's think about it. So what about the heal? What is your thought process about the heal? We didn't talk about this. 
Oh, I would go exhausted for a can when ignite, but since we have exhaust, I just went like full save because I don't really need cleanse. Other True. option was maybe teleport, but eh, I don't really think it's that good. Yeah, it's better to play with heal, heal, heal barrier. The heal uh, exhaust, that's good, that's good. So that's yeah. the reason. Okay, if that's the reason. If he goes ignite, you definitely should go for exhaust. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's good, that's good. Okay, so right here, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So in this case, we just need to conserve HP. So be very, very careful when trading. So for example, in this case, we can see that your tendency is still to look to kill him. Like right here, we should always, always cover this angle and always play really, really, really safe. So let's see what you're going to do. I don't like that you're also staying like in the minions. The only way you're going to get caught is if you play on this angle. So we should just cover yeah. here because here there is no way he's going to hook you because you stay here behind the dominions and this Lucian can't kill you like this. So be very careful with your positioning because this is huge. Like even if you if you don't die, you're losing your HP, which is pressure. They can push, they can get vision, they can go for invades, so they can do whatever they want to. So be very careful with your positioning. And also in addition of that, in addition of that, remember that your biscuits gives you percentage of HP. So what does that mean? That means if you first when use you're low, Yes. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so first use the biscuit and then use the potion. That that's the concept. Yeah. Because right now you use the, the potion and you're probably going to use the biscuit when you're like missing only one hundred HP. That's fine, that's fine. Only get experience, play slow. Only get experience, play slow. This is good. Farm as much as possible. Yes, yes, this is good. This I, is good. I will fall in CS for sure, but it was not that much. I think it was like 20 or 30 CS max in like 20 minutes. If it's 15 in 10 minutes, it's still really good. It's still really good. Uh, yeah, like, it's like, yeah. So it's, if it's like, if it's on like that, it's fine. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, that's completely fine. And this is, this looks so far. If you had exhaust here on Ezreal, he was dead. For sure, because he just, he exhaust and he's dead. Like here. Good, really good mechanical execution here. Like if you exhaust, he's just using flash heal or heal flash in this case. So definitely, I also don't like your clicking because if we analyze this like very, 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 very in depth. So I really like the play. I really like the play right here. You did it really well. But if I analyze every possible click, like you E, good. You auto, good. You're clicking like this. This is okay. No problem. Not, I'm not concerned with this one. I'm concerned with the next click right here. This click is a little bit of hesitation. As you can see, you're going yeah, like yeah. this. And then I think you go like this. Okay, this one is bad. This one is really, really bad. Because, because even if yeah. I yes. wanted to queue probably. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, if fight goes on you, you just flash. Anything, cook, e, you can just flash. Yeah, I could have probably killed him. Then. Yeah, one hundred percent. You could have. Uh, well, you couldn't kill him because he had potions, but you could have take his flash, and it was still fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Good dodge. Good. Good wave is coming into you. So you played kind of kind of by the book. You kind of missed a lot of CS, and you also could have get a kill here. But overall, fundamentally, you played it good. Okay, one second, one second, one second. Somehow I'm getting sessions when I'm in session. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, good, good, good. good. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's good. I like it. This is fine. Good. Good, Rakan is playing it fine. So the whole lane phase you had the wave in the close proximity of your tower. The thing that I don't like is that you miss kind of a lot of CS, but overall this is okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Ooh, this is huge. Oh, do you want to say something? Uh, yeah, yeah, but um, I mean also that they are better solo queue, better competitive, and better mechanical players than all of us, kind of. And we, there as I said, like the one of the best Bulgarian teams. So it's kind of a very big mental block and, uh, you know, respecting and the way yes, we all play, you know. Yes, 100%, 100%. Yes, I understand, 100%. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. This is actually a huge mistake. Because so what is going to happen? First of all, what is going to happen with this wave? Gonna slow push towards them. Exactly. And how is that state right now? Based oh, on what I, they need I'm, to do. I'm forced to recall, kind of, because if I don't recall, uh, I can maybe push the lane, but maybe Pike freezes it, and maybe Lucian comes on time, and then I'm still forced to recall. True. So theoretically, if you if you recall right now, this is kind of correct in solo queue because you don't have mana and you can't really push it correctly. You can't really push it as fast. So right now the wave is going to slow push into them. In solo queue, no one is going to path towards bot right now with the jungle and gank you because of this slow pushing. But in this elo, if they are challenger players, this listen should get informed. Hey bro, wave is slow pushing into us. You have 45 seconds to come bot. They are dead. And even if they don't kill you, but they take your summoner spells, it's really bad. So what I'm saying right now is that you should call your jungle to help you push because this wave state can actually 
end up losing so much for you because this wave state yeah, yeah. can actually transform into no summoner spells as real. So tell him, hey, bro, you need to come here, even if he steals the minions. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can actually give him the minions. It doesn't really matter. But then if he helps you right here, you crush this wave, next wave is going to come into you, which means in the next one minute and a half, you're going to play slow, safe, and in the close proximity of your tower. You can't die, you can't get killed, you can't get caught. So just because this wave state can actually transform into a really bad thing. That's why we should have called the jungle. Bro, let's push. I don't think you're going to die. They shouldn't really be that smart. I think that in LCS, LCK, it's always going to happen. But let's see what they're going to do. And also, like, think about it, like, Pike can roam as well. Like, this wave state is really, really good for all of them. Like, for all of them. Listen knows, and then Pike can roam as well. Like, it can happen. Like, a lot of things, a lot of bad things can happen here. Okay. Let's see? Good. Usually in those kind of situations, I saw that you go for two points in Q. Usually in those kind of situations, you want to go for W, just because your purpose is not really poke them. But if you W Q, at least you can get some mana. And mana yeah. and HP, like, as a resource, it's so important for you, because you want to survive. So that's, uh, usually it's good. It's good to go to Qs. But in this case, definitely it's really smart to go WQ. Because this guy is going to stay in the brush with Pike and you can just very easy WQ aim. Yeah, so let's see what is going to happen here. But definitely they will get a huge pressure. Exactly, exactly. And this chunk, same thing. Right now, this wave is, is really so bad. bad. Yes. This is really bad because you can see I don't yeah, have potions. I think. I think. Only one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, 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 that was like the whole buy. I didn't have Sheen. I could, I could have skipped the one one sword one refiable, but that was a mistake that I regretted a bit because now I cannot play the lane that good. Yes, 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 yes. True, but also this was preventable by by playing the better wave management play here. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what is Lucian going to do. But definitely, it's going to be yeah, like all of the, those things they happen because of the wave state. And I think that Lucian should be very very close to you. Oh yeah. Do you guys? But he could be top lane right now. Yeah, he's top lane. But he can definitely like even even they do have double TP. They like they can set up a play here on us. <clears throat> okay, let's see but what's going to. Is do. Not so, like he he pl he punishes, but not so much. He could freeze for way longer, I think. Yeah, he could have played a lot better. Also at level one, he did like very weird eat very weird things. Okay, that's fine. I'm not concerned with this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see I what happens got, here. I got hooked, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So he goes from, from the left, okay. Yeah, that is the mistake of Rakan, he should just W. Okay, she doesn't have W. Okay, so definitely he should have played a little bit more forward with you. Okay, I'm not concerned with this one. This is okay, this is okay. Here, same thing, you need to jungle to help you. Like, if he doesn't really help you right here, you're going to lose the second wave that can that could have be pushed. Because if you think about the first wave, that was really bad, and right now it's not pushing into them. If you think about this wave as well, you're going to again lose the wave, and it's going to add up, add up, add up, add up, and then at 10 minutes it's going to be like 20 CS or 30 CS. Yeah. So definitely we could have just do that. The thing is right now, this wave can be transformed into a plate as well if you recall right now. Let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, so I, going have I, cannot I cannot stay, stay because, because I'm afraid, afraid of listening. I have no flash. flash. Yes, he yes, yes. At least Listen just took the Drake, but he was bot side. Yes, he was but definitely no, bot side. Okay, and right here again, slow push into them. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Right now, I don't think you can really die. You're relatively mobile. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I need to crush this as up. This is good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, does he have bloodline? Let's see. Yeah, so any trade is losing right now if he has bloodline. No matter how many potions you have. And definitely in those kind of in those kind of situations when it's all about surviving, you should get refillable potion over anything. Over pink cords, over anything. Because the refillable potion can help you to stay healthy. And if you're healthy in this tower, if, and two things, you need two things. So if you're healthy into the tower, and if you have guardians and exhaust of the Rakan, you cannot get dove. Even if you don't have vision, even if you don't have a pink cord, you cannot get dove again, unless the Oriana is there as well. But two versus three, if you have HP and if you have Exhaust Guardians, they cannot get off. Or they can, mm -hmm. but then Lucian is going to die, or this guy is going to die. And then it's not worth, because a kill on Ezreal is more important than a kill on Lucian. So definitely, I will not get Longsword, and I will just get the uh, refill. Okay, let's see. Okay, 61 to 85. Yeah, this could have been more of like, like 70 to 88, or like 75 to 88, which is really, really good. If we played a little bit better with the wave management. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's good. Pushing. 
Okay, I want to see your combo right here. You could have definitely killed him. Again, Rakan could have done a lot better, but let's see if you could have done a lot better. Let's see. Okay. Good play for you. Good. Okay, you did you did a click that was like this, and I didn't really like that. Well, let's see your Q. Okay, that yeah, is fine. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Nice, so you need to push fast. Okay, you can't really do it. Good, recall, that's perfect. 928, so let's see what you're going to get here. Fade, you feel? That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, it's a bit late because it's 10 minutes already. So right now you're 30 CS down. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not the best thing in the world. It's not the end of the world, but definitely 30 farm is basically two kills right now. So it's not, uh, it's not the, uh, you want to be maximum, maximum 20. Maximum 20, yeah. but the, the ideal is between 10 and 15 in this lane. In competitive, because in solo queue, I don't think you should play like that under pressure. So it's different. Okay, that's fine. Rekana is roaming. That's good. This is good. This is good. That's fine. No problem. Yeah, they're, they're desperate. They need to do something. They have to do something. Listen didn't really play too much around bot lane. What he should have done over and over and over, like there were so many times where they had the big wave, they could have just stacked it, and then they are just going to... If Lee comes here, you get zoned into the tower, Lucian gets free plays. That's what Lee should have done. He played top lane, he played mid lane. Well, depends on the dynamic of the team. Who is the best player in the enemy team? Who is the superstar? Mid lane, right? Well, Rihanna is like 1k LP. Yes. He won EBL, if you know Balkan League. Yes, 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 yes. So and that's why they Uki, blame it. Uki also won it twice and he played on European Masters. Yes, yes, yes. The jungle. Okay. Basically okay. the jungle and the mid lane are like the best players. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I can see because he plays he plays only on the mid. That's fine. Here here um listen, uh Pak didn't have flash from the previous fight, Lucian does. And we kinda force too much. I think that he had to go on Malfa on Pike, but he has he. So I think so that I think was that not overall good. good. Yeah, so if he goes on pike, he's dead. The thing is, his E of the pike can be interrupted by his ultimate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think yeah. I thought so. Yes, yes, yes. And it's instant. Like, his ultimate is instant. So here, if you if you are on him, he's just dead. But he tried it. You force the flesh of the Lucian, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Unless you die. Yeah, I can't waste my flesh for no reason. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's definitely huge. That's definitely huge. So you can kill pike there. And of course, if you kill pike here... You're basically Maybe just going to back up. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. It's good. Let's see what you're going to get. Hmm. The game let's gets see, a bit see, rough at this point. Big okay, CS leads and... Uh... Yeah, but it was still like a long, long game. So I'm looking forward to see like what happened after. Okay. <clears throat> Pushing, yeah, that's fine. Solving. This is good. This is normal, standard. This they is huge. The... You get a scuttle. That's not bad. You can't get dove right now. Okay. Good. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Did you ulti like this? Let's see. Let's see your ulti. You could have been a little bit more. So let's see. Like here, it's slightly exactly. It's slightly yeah. out of vision. So it could have been like right here. Yeah. It was very, very close. Good, good. Let's see how we're going to play this. Fine. I want to see the, the fight exactly. My jungle got, got outplayed. Okay. He hit, he hit him with Q on, Q on in while well invisible. Was kind yes, of yes, 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 yes. But he flashed it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm trying good. Yeah. I know they're so going to just do not so push. So. so let's see. So what do we have until now? So we have a little bit of itemization. We have wave management. Uh, we have cover, standard cover. Yeah. You have a lot of a lot of like little mistakes, like for example, going for two Q, two double points in Q at level three. Like a lot of little mistakes, and the wave management is the biggest one so far. But okay. I also put like the CS lead, the kind of small now. It's like twenty. Twenty-five. Yeah, not bad. With this Ooh, wave. What is this? This is so garbage. Yeah, of course, because we'll never kill Malfa, I think. But he kind of needs it into the rest of the team, don't you think? Well, the thing is, you if you play Lucian right with your E, you can overcome the QE of the Syndra, you can overcome the Malphite ulti, you're going to hit uh, this guy very, very easy with your ultimate. So, 
even if you have Gale Force, it's not like you can play the fight so much different. So Kraken Slayer is so big power spike. It's just so big power spike. Because like him having Gale Force is not like he can approach the fights differently. Yes, he can play a little bit more aggressive, but he doesn't have damage. So it's better to have Kraken, rely on your E, because that's how Lucian damage works. Like if you have good E usage, you can just dodge this guy, dodge this guy. So it's really not needed. It's really not needed. It's a, it's going to delay your power spike by a lot. And Oriana also doesn't have the Leandris. So it's going to be... I think that that's part of the reason why this game goes really, really late. Because that, that itemization is definitely not good. So this, this scale force is very luxurious. Like there is no word where Malphite should hit R on you. Especially because you have frontline. And especially because you have Oriana Shockwave. So even if he does, Oriana Shockwave is going to get four people if you guys are trying to follow. And then... Having Gale Force against Rakan, well, if you if you're really bad positioned, yes, you need it. But if you're playing really, really good, then you don't need it. What Elo is this guy? Uh, Grandma. Uh, and uh, and is he a main Lucian? Does he have games on Lucian? I don't think so, right? He, he plays Lucian, but not main. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not that it's bad. Like, like meta right now, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's it's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh. really, really. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pause for a second, so my, uh, this is practical in, because you see the ward above? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, 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 above the ward, yeah, this one. Above? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, one this ward is above the least in. And I just, so for some oh, reason... Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. So yes. I did not see him getting in, and then I stepped up, because the Kha'Zix and the Rakan are behind me, so I wanted to bait. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I don't know why, the, I, I don't know why I did not see the least in now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's game pressure, you know? Sometimes you just don't see it. Yes, 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 yes. Look, I hear I'm baiting because you see Rakan is behind me. Yes, 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 yes. I try to do it. Yeah, you try to E correctly. Yeah, I will just try to double Q here, but again, it couldn't really make the difference. Yeah, very unlucky here. If you see him, it's completely different. Like, the game just gets noble out of control right now. Okay, they get a bot tower. Okay, 6k behind. It's mainly the CS difference on top. Yeah, interesting how top lane and the mid lane like that are super super behind in farm. Okay. Well, top I think should be behind because set kind of counts as Malphite, but the mid lane is like even, I think. It's even and top lane should, like the set is fine into Malphite, but 50 CS up is never, never something that you want to have. Like, you okay, you can be like 20 CS, but that's all. Like, you play, you're still playing Malphite. You can just give up some minions, but 50 CS up, it's like way too much. And yeah, he didn't really cut though. Yeah, it's fine. Well, okay. So I right now, what freeze. what do we wanna do? True freeze. Yeah, but right now, freeze. you're you're hitting, hitting, hitting too much. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's good. 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 Okay, hitting a little bit too much the cannon. Okay, you're hitting a little bit bit too much the the minions. And right now, you basically transform the wave in the slow push. Overall, good concept, but you could have you could have executed it a little bit better. Okay, let's yeah. see what we're going to do. Max steals my golem. Okay. They get break, not they don't, but they kill my laners. Okay, that's fine. Not your problem right here. Here you can see what they did if you want. Oh, yeah, sure. They, they committed a lot, I mean, too hard on Lucian. He flashed and they just got collapsed on. Let's see. No, no, before. Ah, oh, before Rakan this? Died. Yeah, when Rakan died. Yeah, here they, they tried to commit on Lucian with flash. And they just they got collapsed on. Oh. So, no, okay. Yeah, but I guess I just, uh, like, I just left. I don't think I can do anything there. Yeah, you can't redo really it unless you have R. Yeah, they just got outplayed, okay? Oh, set flashed, okay. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything there. He didn't really have ulti. Yeah, was like really out of control right now. But we. I think you won one team fight, right? You won one team fight and then the, the game was. Uh... Here, here, Sindra, it was so big. Okay, that's fine. Top lane. Oh, we could have frozen there. Could have frozen there. Yeah, I just wanted. Yeah, I guess. So let's see what, what do you have right now. So the second item, what do you usually go right now? Muramana. Muramana, 100%. Do you know the exact um, amount that you need? I mean, right now, no. It's okay, so let's do the math. Let's do the math. So it's basically. 1.8 so 2.9 you need to 2 2.2 so you need to 2 okay 2.2 right here 
Uh, are you going to get 2.2 after this next wave? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. No, you're not Maybe. going to get... You're going to get like 1.9 to 2.1, but not 2.2. And you can't really sell anything, right? Well, you could sell refillable portion. It's very close. What is a better play? I think I, I, think I get it with Gromp, though. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, with Gromp you can get it, but the thing is, even if you can, if you get it right now, the question is, do you still want to fight right now in the next five minutes? Are you still strong? No, because uh, also, yeah, the problem that is, I actually get more mana after this and the other wave, and then I try to go top, but the wave is already near the tower, and I don't have any single ward, so I cannot really approach and push more. True. So I just have to freeze. True, exactly. Freeze is so much better just, just because even if you get more mana, it's not like you go mid you fight against this thing composition. You need at least yes, at least five minutes. You still five minutes. You need to, five minutes, and the game is doable. But right now, Lucian is still outscaling you. At the moment, he's still stronger than you. When you're going to wait five minutes, you get more mana and boot and one more item. You're outscaling. So for this game state, because we need at least five more minutes for our team composition to be able to do something. We need to freeze here because they're going to lose so much. So let's see how you execute this. So you push, 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 push. Yes, you're not I going to get, get it for it. sure. And also, like I right now, we. Mm -hmm. I think I will. I will. What the fight? Oh, wait, it did. Let's see. So how much did you have? 1.9. I think it costed me 1.8. Oh, it's because you have tier as well. Yay. Yeah. 2.2 without tier. Yay. True. True. But you're still I going mean, to split push, and you're still going to like imagine if the wave was still uh, yeah. still here. And now I'm exactly. like, guys, I cannot go there. Yeah, what do I do right now? Exactly, exactly, I exactly. Go there. Yeah. But this but fight this was fight also really huge. huge. My, My heal saved Syndra. Nice. Okay, do you take Nash? That's no. the game. Oh. You can slow down. This is a big mistake, man. Oh my goodness. Rihanna is just gonna 1v9, bro. Oh, but you have flesh. It shouldn't be like that. Set is, Set is doing, doing a, lot a lot here. That's fine. You played it good overall. You forgot about the potion, but overall you did good. Uh, yeah. Like if you flash yeah. here, if you flash uh, like uh, here, and then you you kill this guy, you go E with this guy, she's dead. I thankfully with he, she misses, she misses her, her like. Uh, oh, she profit. misses that. Okay. Yeah. But now the call is to finish Baron, which nah, I don't I think, think so good, but. Wow, 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 so close, so close. So this was basically uncoordination, uncoordination. Malphite ulti, I need to know Malphite ulti. So right now Malphite ulti should say, hey, six seconds, six seconds or nine seconds. Like he should call it. Yeah, okay, yeah let's yeah, see what they're going to do. Now. Yeah, the thing is, so it's fine that he said, hey, let's finish it. But the execution, it doesn't feel like all of you just, just follow him instantly. Because if you follow him, like if anyone say, is saying, hey, let's go for Nashor right here, right now, then you need to kite into the pit. You need to be right here. Right here. Maybe we can buy time and then finish. It. Yes, yes. Because even two seconds. Two seconds are so huge here. Because one is going to die, maybe even two. But then you can flash over the wall, you're fine. So if you just commit here into the pit, like Oriana has to stay right here. And it takes two, two and a half seconds to get there. And then you can play around it. So definitely could have, could have executed a lot better. Yeah, we, we learned a lot of things. If we get this... <laughs> wait, they got it? Yeah. Oh my. Oh my god. Wow. That was actually crazy. That was really, really crazy. So if you get this natural game, is over. And look at her eyes right now. Wow. Wow. Three and a half. Yeah, that's really good. I'm, I'm scared at this point. I almost have my frozen heart now. Yeah, you're... you're at the moment, if you have two and a half, yeah, you're always killing Lucian. Right now, Lucian, with a red buff, there is no way it's going to do more damage than you. There is no way. Ezreal is one of... Oh. This was really clutch. And Oriana got picked from the Kha'Zix. She died. Nice. This is how we stole the game, basically. Okay, how much gold do you have? One, six. Yeah, so you got frozen. Okay. Now I think I make Surreal. Because Lucian and, uh, I mean not Lucian, because Set and uh, Lysin are building some armor and we have Zonias as well. True, I just true, thought the real is a good item. Okay, let's see. You know, we go for stop watching because I have no flash yet. Ah, actually, I do. But, but yeah, but it's better. It's better because you have flash and stop watching. Stop watching against Oriana Shockwave with Rabadons. Like, that's pokers. That's oh just my pokers. gosh, she has four items. Yeah, it's like really, really... Good for her. Here I use for vision. 
kind of try to cover some bushes. Here is the cow is bad. We wanted to contest Drake, and then they took our in hip. Wait, you guys have Drakes? This game is actually winnable. Yeah. It's wow. Wow. Okay, nice okay, nice stop watch, watch from Syndra. Here I kill. Sep. Good. Here we, we chase, chase the listing, then another try to do Baron, Baron, but we just cannot panic this 5 eye. Yeah, no? yeah Ariana is like so strong. Yeah, that's fine, that's overall fine. They're going to collapse on you, I think. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah. You, don't, you, you pretend, pretend that, that it did not help. Okay, no problem. It's just a mechanical error, no problem. We played it okay in terms of mechanics all game. You also have a tendency to use ultimate too much on the wave, I, I, I saw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for vision. I don't okay, really like to like, kill someone with it. Yeah, 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 you just want to get the wave or vision. Okay, get last whisper, that's fine. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One second, one second. They get another Baron, yeah. They oh, cannot really... really... I had no blue and he had no blue as well. Yeah, I mean, I we knew that they're doing it, we just cannot contest. We have zero watts and we are off tempo and... Yeah, let's see, and let's they see. do it really, really fast as well. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is not, not contestable. They execute it really well. They execute it really, really well. Okay, that's fine. Okay, the thing is, the question is, can you really keep three in heaps with this game composition? I don't think yeah, so, Syndra. They don't, they don't have any siege. That's what. But even with Baron, they cannot really siege against Syndra and Ezra. We have a lot of wave clear, and we have. Uh, and they, they're like they're short range. They're listening set uh, Pike Lush, and they cannot hit the towers. You know. True. True. And but be like allowed to get too much close because mouth. No, True, Even but the, the, the inhib on top lane is takeable, and then after they take the inhib on top lane, Seth can actually split push top lane only, and then they go for bot lane. And then your mid lane is going to be pushed, someone has to stay with Seth as well, and then bot lane, if Sidra stays bot lane, who is going to stay stay mid lane to catch the wave? You can do it, but your wave clear is not that fast. So if they play 4 zero, 1 after they take this inhib, it's going to be better. I don't know why they are here. They should simply just go top and run it down. I think they play for top inhib now. No, actually, they go for both. Yeah, they, they played really bad here. They nah, play for Drake? Drake okay, so how many seconds? 31. Yeah, they had 100% they had to, time to get this and then play for this as well. Because if you if you fight, they still win. Because they have Nashru, they have Oriana, they still win. So they should just take this. Like right now, they're just buying time for you. Yeah, they executed this pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, okay, I want to see. Push. I want to see uh, how you play this. Good, 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 beautiful click there. You don't have the blue trinket here. Good E, fine. You forgot about the heal. I don't know if you knew your limit, so you just forgot. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I think your cut down does so much damage, yeah. Your cut down does so much damage in this case, especially against set. So this is fine, this is fine. You're going to lose a Drake, but it's uh, it is what it is. Okay, good. Yeah, I think someone caught. I'm not sure who. The oh, yeah. the set, the set, the set, the set. Lucian, <laughs> Lucian kind of dies to Gale Force E and flash up from our fight I think that I think was that really, was really important, important for us. For us. You can check, check what Lucian does. He has everything. He has everything up. He didn't do. He, he, nope, nope, he doesn't, doesn't flash. flash. Yeah, he eat. He eat and it got cancelled. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here my Good. stopwatch was clean on the last bow I was applied otherwise. Here Good. we take the inhibitor. A bit of hesitation. Yeah. Yeah, and it, you, you recall and then who's the shot color in this team? It's not you. I can see it is not no, you. No, no, not me. I mean mostly the the the, 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 the jungle? The mid lane. The mid lane? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm really like yelling yeah. right now. See my items, I'm huge. Yeah, Elixir Wrath is fine. You don't need to go for the tanky one in this case. Okay, that's good. Wait. Uh, the illusion is getting picked off. Like by Kha'Zix. Probably stilted already. Here, look what Malphite does. It's game breaking on Moriana. We thought that she's just bad because she doesn't zonia it, but she doesn't have vision on him. So Let's see, let's see, let's see. Moriana doesn't have vision on Malphite right So this is what won us the game. Wait, do you win this one? Yeah. yeah. Holy. We and then look, look, we're still, still behind, behind in gold after, after everything. everything. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. 
But you Lucian, have the... is not, Lucian is not a not champion, champion anymore. No, he wasn't ever a champion with this build. Can you show me the damage? I guarantee you he didn't do more than 12k. Uh, uh, let me show you. I think he did around... I don't know, maybe 14, 15, 17 maximum. But I think he did even worse than that. Let me show. Second, second. Here is the damage graph. Wow, you can see the enemy team as well. Yeah, 15. I knew it, I knew it. So I said, I said around 12, 12, I think. But it's really bad. Yeah, that build is just completely garbage. Oh, he, he, he wanted, wanted to go like, like uh, squishy snowball build, build, and then he realized, wait, there is a mouth fight. And true, he had true. to award Dominic, and then he delayed his infinity edge, and... Yeah, the, if you go for Serelda build with the Gale Force, it's not that bad, but it's... I personally tried it, I really dislike it. I think Kraken's layer on Lucian with PTA is so much better. There is no way... So, first of all, if you play Lucian without PTA, you're useless. If you play Lucian without Kraken's layer, same thing, you're useless. If you play Miss Fortune without PTA, same thing, you're a lot weaker than if you play with PTA. I don't, I don't right, personally right. like Miss it. Miss Fortune without PTA? You can take Drag Dark Harvest, but it's still so much better for lane to play with PTA. Remember what they try to do. They try to stomp you. They don't try to outscale you or try to you know, match your scaling. No, if you match the scaling of the Ezreal, you're still going to get out scale, no matter if you got Serilda, Gale Force, or anything. So try to play your game. Play aggressive, smash, accelerate the game. And that's so much easier just by getting the, the Kraken. Because at one item against Ezreal, you just smash him. You just E into him with Kraken Slayer, you win. You just win really hard. Unless Ezreal has Exhaust, in which case it's a bit harder, but still... Wait... And if I think about it, like Lucian should get exhaust. Like if Lucian has exhaust one v one against you, and he dashes in and he exhausts you, you're dead instantly. Do you think and any other NK would be nice here? Uh, yeah, Zaya is decent, true. Hmm. Ash is really bad. The Felius is really bad. As you said, if I got hooked once, I'm like dead if I don't yeah. level. Yeah, Zaya is very volatile in the early game. Okay. Ashen or they just so immobile. Maybe something really safe. But... A mage is fine. Like Syndra bot lane. Vagar bot lane is really, really good against Lucian. He can't do shit. A mage is decent, but a mage played by a, an experienced player. Not just let's play a mage yeah. because it's good. So if you're really good on mages, you can do it. If you're a good Tristana, you can still do it. But the bad thing with Tristana is that if you're getting pushed in, it's very, very tough to play the lane. Yeah, and, and also, then... I thought of, um, where was it, I forgot, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, we wanted we to kind of play the original, I don't know if you know it, but the new shit that the uh, pro players are playing, they like play a Mumu Misfortune bot. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. and you know, the new Mumu is played support right now. Holy shit. Uh, because that... he has two Qs, you know? Yeah, yeah, two Qs, two Qs, but he's... Uh... And then this, this is like, uh, this is uh, Tactical and Core JJ. Yeah, but I can see that it's not getting well. Yikes. It, it's, it's good into like <laughs> squishy supports, you know? Yeah, yeah, into squishies it makes sense. But it's like, sense. kind of like Nautilus, because if you go in, you cannot go out. So. True, but he's a worse Nautilus, and a worse one Al Alistar. But yeah, you, yeah, you can imagine how annoying it sounds like Misfortune with a Mumut or Zix with a Mumut. You just have so yes, much yes, yes. Yeah, it's pretty good setup. But it's kind of easy to play around still. Like, I would be scared of Nautilus Zix more than a Mumu Zix, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, it's, people really like play it. I would have to try it out. I think that you have a lot of better options on both lane. And if, if I play Alistar or Morgana or Liwana, I think that you're just useless as a Momo. Uh, maybe, and, it, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's, it's usually it's picked really into like squishy like, champions, champions like Nani, yes, 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 yes. Karma, Karma. Because you have a lot of Q pressure on this. Yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting pick. I would have to watch it. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I think that you played good in this game. You played good in this game, but wave management definitely could have been better. The optimization could have also been more precise since the cover at level 1. There are obviously like a lot of little mistakes, but overall you played it good. 